Oh, there is something I don't want to forget about. And that is... Alright, I've got these two bearings here, and one's at the other end. Um, but those are to secure the middle of this. Because right now, uh, the whole middle axle is held in place by bearings here, here, and then here and here. And this is a solid axle up to here, and then there's some gears, and then this axle, and then gears, and then another solid axle. So the two axles on the ends are held in place. But the one in the mix middle is just being held in place by the gears. So it's putting a lot of pressure on the gears. So that's why these are here. That's a lot of these two ball bearings. They're to, I need to mount these ball bearings to this piece here They're so that this doesn't get pulled against the gears which are They're inside enormous. here. They are enormous. And I'm... You know, it doesn't really need to be attached in one spot. It just needs to be pulled against the front and the back. Okay, so here I've got the I've got all these chains pulling that direction, right? And nothing pushes up or down except I mean a little bit of gravity, but almost nothing. So all the force is pushing that way or pulling that way. So I just need something that will pull these sprockets back hard against this. And maybe if I do it so I can tighten the screw and like get it to the right tension uh, where things run more smoothly that would be good because then you know if things get jostled or bumped or anything that I can tighten or loosen it to make an adjustment so really I just need like a little plate here something that will fit on the end and then a bolt up here and a bolt under but I want to make sure that what is against this isn't just flat touching on one spot. You know, it's kind of got to conform to the ball bearing or else it'll crack it. So I could take a chunk of this, maybe drill out these two holes bigger and just use them. Cut this there, go crazy with a hammer and curve this. You know, so it's flat there, flat there so the bolts can get through, but then this part, curve it to conform to the ball bearing and then just have two bolts that bolt from there right into here. I've been buying lots of surplus stuff from a guy in town, so I have lots of uh, buckets of bolts and stuff. Like, all right, these bolts are way too fat and not long enough, but I've got some other ones around here. I got some super long ones here. Four of those, and they're all stainless steel. Maybe I can use those for one end. Oh, and he. He had some extra aluminum pieces in there too. What should we do now? Go swimming. Go swimming? Yeah. And have some lunch too? Yeah. Yeah, let's go do it. Are you hot? It's hot out, isn't it? Yeah. And I'm filthy! Yeah, because you need, and you need to have a bath. Because <laughs> you are so dirty. Wow, look at swimming dirt pants! <laughs> you call me dirt pants? Yeah. I totally just figured out how to mount my steering column riser gear thing. It has to go right about here with a sprocket to connect to this sprocket. And I was rummaging around in my stuff and I found this, which I bought a little while ago for like peanuts. And it's long enough that I can put a piece here, cut it there, and I can put another piece over here. And this has little things where I can bolt it in on both sides. And that'll work perfectly. And then I put my, my steering thing here in a column or a steering wheel. And this will totally be strong enough to not bend. It'll, this will have a fair amount of pressure, down pressure, when this is going. But yeah, that'll be great. Well, after pounding on this with a hammer and getting it into a shape that could be for these thingies. I thought, I'm just, I'm just getting too complicated. I don't need anything that fancy. So I went and found a bunch of this stuff that I picked up off the road a while ago. And I bent it into a shape to go around the bearing and around a bolt. And I don't know if the lighting is good enough to see this, but there's a little piece of sheet metal in here between the wire and the bearing, and the sheet metal has some parts that are folded down over the bearing and then some parts that are folded up to hold the wire in place so that won't fall off. 
Oh, and then I just tightened the nut on the bolt on the other side. Uh, I just, I kept pulling on these chains and tightening and loosening the bolt a little till it got to the loosest that I could get those, like the easiest moving. And I'll do the same thing at the other end. And I should probably put another one on here, this other bearing. But I don't know. I'm not going to worry about it right now. Even just having one, you know, in the middle-ish will will keep this from just resting on the, the gears in here. So I'm just going to put one at the other end. And then I'll worry about the other two later. But I did drill the hole for the other one. Because I had to take this whole piece off to drill it because all the stuff's in the way. Alright, got a second one in there. Okay. Made sure I drilled my extra hole too while I had this piece out. I think it's doing what it's supposed to do. Yeah. Well, I'm standing here realizing that if I don't put the bottom cover under this thing, I'm like never gonna do it. So I guess I'll do that now. And then I'll do all the top stuff.